fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Unit Robo Bulldozer Burger from the new Unit Roborn Machine Robo Universe line from Bandai. So this is a brand new line, uh, just came out, I got these from Amazon Japan, they arrived yesterday. And it's just a really off the wall kind of a line where they give you two random items, in this case a burger and a bulldozer, and then you kind of clip them together and it auto transforms into some kind of robot or animal or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's just a really bizarre off the wall line. When I first saw pictures of them online, I knew I had to check it out. So like I said, in this case, we have a burger and a bulldozer and it's Unit Robo Bulldozer Burger. So the name is not really the cleverest, but it is what it is. You have some cool artwork of the robot over here on the side. If we spin it around to the back, it shows you the two directions. You click it on and then it kind of auto transforms. And then I guess you might have to do a little bit of kind of moving a few items around. Uh, and then you get this robot over here. I'm not really sure why the directions are using a grayscale model, but uh, it is what it is. So very basic. I think it's just kind of a clip on auto transform. Not really much to it, but we'll check it out. And then you have some warnings and whatnot down here. So it's just such an off the wall line. I definitely had to check it out. So let's go ahead. Let's get these out of the packaging and see how it works. All right. So here's everything you get out of the box. Obviously there are two components. There are the burger and the bulldozer. Uh, the burger is very simplistic. It doesn't really do anything on its own. It has some decent paint applications for the cheese and what I'm assuming is a tomato slice. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it. You can see that there's a clip here and then a clip over here. And then there's a button here which is going to get depressed when you clip them together, which is what makes it pop open. Uh, but here is the bulldozer, which is the obvious larger part of the set. Uh, it does have some wheels here on the bottom. So it can roll pretty decently. You have a little bit of black paint here for the window and then a little bit here on the grill. Uh, but again, this doesn't really do much on its own other than roll. You can kind of see the robot fist tucked underneath there. So we'll just go ahead and pop these together. And you just kind of line up the clips. And then that kind of flips around. Uh, so basically how this works is we are going to unpeg these and flip this around. And then that will kind of straighten up like that. And then let me swivel this up. And then we're just going to flip the arms down like so. And that's pretty much it. There's not really much to the guy. Uh, but it's a cool little robot mode. I think they did a nice job. I think the head sculpt looks pretty good. You have some nice paint applications there for the eyes. A little bit of silver down there near the mouth. These are stickers here. You have a sticker on both sides. And I'm pretty sure this bit of purple here is a sticker as well. Uh, articulation wise I guess you can kind of swivel this out to the side you definitely have about 45 degrees there in the elbow uh, nothing really in the waist this doesn't really lock into place which I don't love but it will just stay there with gravity you kind of have a hinge here but I don't really know how far it's supposed to go out like you can kind of click it a little bit past but then it kind of wants to go right back so I don't think it's supposed to I think you're just kind of supposed to you know have it go out a little bit just so it can stand and, uh, you know, there's kind of a bend here, but that's really the awkward way for a knee. So uh, nothing really there, nothing in the ankle. So he doesn't really have a ton in terms of articulation. It's really just a little bit of the bend at the elbow. And uh, he doesn't come with any accessories or weapons or anything like that. So it's just a crazy burger bulldozer robo. Um, not really much to it. I have to admit I'm a little underwhelmed. I don't really know what I was expecting, but I hoped it would have a little bit more articulation but a lot of times when you have kind of spring-loaded gimmicks and toys like this it really hinders articulation because everything has to kind of work for the spring-loaded gimmick so i get it but it's it's funny i mean it's a it's a bulldozer robot with a cheeseburger for a chest so that's off the wall and i think it looks cool like just to put on a shelf i think it's kind of neat you know the combination transformation gimmick is kind of fun i think after a while it'll probably get a little old but it's an interesting line. I have a couple more of these. Uh, I think like five or six all came out at the same time. So I'll be checking these out. But not really much to it, unfortunately. Like I said, you kind of you transform it and then it's a robot and then that's it. It doesn't really do much else. Uh, transforming it back, just so you know. You pop this off and then that's just going to close up. And then we're going to rotate the arms back into this top section here. And then you kind of bring this back around. That will click into place. Flip the legs back up and then tab them together right there. And then this section just flips around and pegs into the front section here, like so. 
And there you go. So it holds together pretty well when you transform it back. It's just that, I mean, you know, you can kind of play a little bit with the bulldozer because <laughs> it rolls. Not really much to do with the burger. So I would assume if you're buying these for uh, collecting purposes, you're just going to transform them into the robot and then sit it on the shelf. It's kind of a fun gimmick, but like I said, I think unfortunately it's probably going to get uh, rather old rather fast. So it is what it is. It's kind of funny, but I just don't think there's a lot to do with it. I mean, it's kind of the transformation and the gimmick is kind of the entire point of the toy. Um, I mean, it would have been nice for maybe a little bit more detail in the bulldozer. I think, you know, the burger's fine. I don't think there's really much more they could do with that, uh, but maybe just a few more paint applications. But the nice thing about this line is they're fairly cheap. I think the most expensive one is $20. I think this one was somewhere in the area of 15 something like that, before shipping. So... It is what it is. Like I said, it's a little underwhelming. I think there's some fun to be had, but I think it's probably going to get kind of old fairly quick. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.